painting. Freaking like splatter it. This is the back of one of the girls ones. They like don't know the names that they're getting to. It took several, several days to paint through all of these. Hello my friends! What is up? Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited for this one because today's custom set making things video is going to be a little bit different. For those of you that don't know me, hi, my name is Sophia. I'm so glad you have found your way into my corner of YouTube. It's very crafty, very happy. The good, happy, creative vibes over here. For this video, I'm actually going to be walking you guys through painting team gifts for Top Gun Glock 6. So before I get into the actual painting of the team gifts, Glock got a few things for this competition, although I'm going to be focusing on the items that we painted. Um, I do want to kind of breeze over the other items really quick just because they're still really fun. Some of the things that Glock got for this competition included what we call a hangout set which is one of my personal favorite team gifts custom sets to do. The set included a black tank top and sweat shorts. Um, for the girls, we did these black tank tops, which are actually my clothing brand, Peachy Pia. They are the Peachy Tank, literally. I'm wearing it right now, this white Peachy Tank. It's so good. It has a built-in sports bra in it, so definitely go check it out on pgpa.com if you're interested. But we did the black ones for the girls, and we just kind of put Glock 6 across in rhinestones. We did the AB stones for the Glock, and then put the 6 in red rhinestones, which was really fun. And then we just did matching plain black tank tops for the boys. And then we did the sweat shorts, which we just did in vinyl, nice and simple, the TG on the bottom. And then we did like the red sparkles around it. So the shorts were like a tan color, which is kind of fun and different. And then we did the vinyl in the black and the red just to kind of tie it in with that little set. I don't know. It was something super cute and fun. We always do a hangout set for the teams every single year. And it's just like a fun extra set to have to hang around and hang out at the competitions when you're going walking around seeing your teams like it's just something fun and extra to have these sets are always a huge huge hit so if you're thinking about doing a team gift for your team or you're looking into getting team gifts or whatever the case may be i definitely recommend doing a hangout set for your team it's something so fun everybody always loves it such a huge hit and then we obviously also did the bag tag i've stated this before in my previous team gifts videos but my mom pretty much handles the bag tags on her own she loves doing them and she does a great job with them those are pretty much all her so she did a super fun design for the glock bag tags and i actually got one which is so fun <laughs> but now let's get into the main thing that they got for this competition which was the flannels i am really excited because for the first time i'm actually painting the team gifts that they're gonna get. For this coming competition for All Out, Glock is gonna be getting flannels and we thought that it could be super cute to actually like paint them and make them look super messy. And I did like a video a long time ago, like several years ago, where I painted a denim jacket and it actually came out pretty good. My mom was like, hey, like, do you think we could like paint these flannels? And I was like, we could try. <laughs> so they have a couple of really cute lyrics in their music. They've got a bunch of like different little sayings and like, you know, their whole like magic vibe. Like they've got, they've got some cute like quotes and things and stuff that we could use. I want to make sure that it can't be too many words because like, even though it's going to be messy, we want it to still like be purposeful, you know? So I was like, it can't be too short. Like it can't only be like two words, but it can't be like super, super long. There's this one like phrase in their music, um, standing center stage. And I was like, it's three words, like it's short enough, but the words are also long. So it's going to take up space. Like, I feel like that's perfect. I guess that's going to be what we put on the back of it. Like what's cool about actually like painting the clothing is that it's, intended to look messy so if you mess up or that you like literally make a mess it's okay like it just makes it look like that's a part of it you know like there's a lot of wiggle room for error here a little nervous because i've never painted team gifts before and like i'm i'm crafty and stuff but like that's a lot of people to like paint so you know like i don't know it's a lot of pressure <laughs> with that going on the back of the flannel we were like at first i was like i don't want to just put the words on the back like i feel like it needs a little bit more to it so we thought about putting these like just like a bunch of different kind of like stars and sparkles and like swirls and stuff like that just like add to the magic vibe we did a test run and it just didn't really look 
Like it, like it wasn't giving what I needed it to give, you know? Okay, so this was the first flannel that we painted. This is the back of it. And this was kind of just like a sample so we could kind of figure out how we wanted to paint it and like where we wanted everything to go. Um, we knew that we wanted to put the standing center stage on the back and we thought about putting like little sparkles and like the swirls and like that kind of stuff around it. But once I like, once we painted this one, I kind of felt like the swirls like, I don't know, I felt like it was just a little too much going on around it with like all the swirls and the stars and stuff. And I felt at the same time that like something was missing. So we kind of pivoted and we're like, okay, instead of doing like all of the swirls and the stars and stuff going around like the words, maybe we take all of that out and instead we add in some more color somehow. But like, I really didn't want to paint that much. <laughs> like I didn't have enough time to paint so much stuff like with the different colors and stuff too. So that's where we were like, okay, let's think of something easy, but something still cool and fun. And that's where the splatter paint came in. Then we were like, I kind of took a turn with it. And I was like, we're definitely keeping the standing center stage there, but maybe we just put that in like a few little sparkles and then let's like splatter paint it. Like let's get some metallic paint, like gold, red, silver, black, and just like freaking like splatter it all over. Cause I feel like the messier, like we could be so messy with that and it'll just make it look better. I feel like, if we could keep the standing center stage there and then maybe just do like a few little stars. I kind of liked how the star was in the bottom of the eye because like, I don't know, I feel like it's like a little wand vibe. Um, but if we could kind of just do a few little like twinkles, maybe that star right there and then like add in a ton of splatter paint around it and like the red, the gold, the silver, black, like all metallic paint. I think that could look really cool. This is really, really, really fun. And once we decided on that, I'm like, okay, now it's like, she's she's coming together. Right now, this is the back of one of the girls' ones. They're pretty much all the same, um, but for the girls, we did like boyfriend fit ones, so they're a little bit baggier. And then just like the buttons, I guess, have a difference on the girls versus the boys. But this is kind of what it's looking like right now with the standing center stage on the back, and then we've just got a few of the little twinkles, nothing crazy with a little twinkle on the eye too, and then it's just like this splatter paint on it. I feel like that looks so sick. And then I'm gonna paint the Glock 6 logo like here-ish, and then I'm gonna put Top Gun Illusionist here, and then everyone's magician name goes like here, and then we're gonna splatter paint the front as well. So really it's just like fun and just like sick kind of like flannel throw over, like, I don't know, something fun, something different. It's a little bit nerve wracking because I've never painted a team gift for so many people. Like, and I'm literally hand painting these. So I just, it's like a little bit of an added level of pressure, but I really hope that they like them. And I feel like the little magician names on the front are like such a fun little vibe. I don't know, I feel like this is so unique and personal. Like, could be fun, could be cute, like, I I don't know, we'll see. For the front of the flannel, this is where it gets a little bit more intricate because we wanted to put the Glock logo on the front and then we we're gonna put like Top Gun Illusionists on like the front pocket on the other side. And then we actually came up with magician names for every single person on the team. And it's like a play on their names. So like, different like magic words, magic vibes, whatever, their names are somehow incorporated into like these magic words. So I don't know, I feel like this is really, really, really cute and fun. The magician names are literally so freaking cute. We kind of just like sat and basically turned everyone's actual name into a play on some kind of like magician words. Like I think we have Gabby is like Gabra Cadabra, Jillian, that's like the Jillusionist, Sammy's is like open sesame, like little, like, I don't know, it's just, it's something cute, but it's something fun and different. Kind of like the top, like, greatest ma magician or like magic people illusionist thing, whatever, is Harry Houdini. And it kind of just like came to us for BBs. Um, my sister, we were like, oh my god, we should do the great Bibini. And then I guess he went by either the Great Houdini or the Amazing Houdini. So hers is the Great Bibini and mine is the Amazing Sofini. And I just think that was so funny and cute. Like, I don't know, these, these are fun, these are cute. Like it's something 
more chill and just fun like it's just a fun thing to do for the team like if you've got the time and the desire to paint team gifts for your team i fully 100 percent like it's it's so much fun i can't wait for, and they like don't know the names that they're getting to so i'm really excited for them to see that actually having to paint the glock logo like Obviously, like, it's okay if it's messy, but I'm like, I, I do want it to somewhat look like the Glock logo. <laughs> and same with, like, the words and the letters and stuff. Words are a little bit easier for me to paint because I'm like, I don't know, it's like, it's almost like just handwriting, like you're writing stuff out with a paintbrush if you get a small one. But that logo, like, that's, that's tricky. All the stuff that we were going to paint on the flannel that was, like, the main design points, we wanted to put in white so it stood out a lot. It looks a little flat if we only do white, so we added in some, like, gold, like, just paint strokes behind some of the stuff on the front and we added like a, a mess, super messy outline to the Glock logo in that like black metallic paint stuff. I feel like that, I feel like that did a lot for it. I will say it definitely was very time consuming. Like it took several, several days to paint through all of these, but it was so worth it. And I still just had so much fun doing it. It wasn't difficult. It was just a little bit tedious, but these were definitely such a fun, unique and personal team gift. Something so fun to do. I 10 out of 10 recommend if you want to do something like this for your team it was so much fun and it was just like it was something so like chill not that serious just a fun thing to throw over and like have and it's probably one of my favorite things that we've done so far don't forget to check out my customization business peaches and crafts if you are interested in getting any kind of custom team gift item apparel accessories literally whatever the case custom items for yourself your group your team your staff your birthday whatever the case may be definitely make sure to send us a form i would absolutely love to work with every single one of you it makes me so happy being able to connect with you guys in that way and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it and i will see you super soon in my next video bye